Okay, turn your Bible with me to the book of Proverbs. Book of Proverbs. Okay, I'll, I'll, it's fine. Book of Proverbs, chapter 16. The Bible says the preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weighted the spirits. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Amen. Amen. Very wonderful wisdom. In fact, the book of Proverbs is filled with wisdom. And God expects that we study this book and uh, that we understand God's word and apply it to our life. As we study here, it says the preparation of the heart in man. It's not speaking about the physical part of the heart, of the body of a man. It's speaking about your thoughts, your mind, okay, what you think. And, and your heart, your thoughtful, where, to whom have you committed? Are you the one who controls your thoughts? Or is it the Holy Ghost who controls your thoughts? The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Because your, your heart and your tongue is connected. Just as we say, how far is Kanpur to Nagpur? How far is Kanpur to Nagpur? How many kilometers? Nobody went to Kanpur? Anybody went to uh, Nagpur? This, Nagpur and Kanpur, this much only. <laughs> okay? So there is a connection between the heart and our tongue. It's a heart and a tongue. Okay? A connection between a heart and a tongue. So whatever you think in your heart, is what your mouth speaks. Whatever you desire, you think in your mind. So when it speaks about the heart, it's speaking, it speaks about your mind. Your thoughtful things, where you are thinking, you store up all the things. So who is actually controlling your mind? No matter who controls, if the devil controls your mind, it will come out from your mouth. And if God controls your mind, it will come out from your mouth. And Jesus said, out of abundance of heart, the mouth, speak it. Okay, no matter who is controlling you. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth, speak it. And so, what is in is what comes out. Okay, garbage in, garbage out. Clean in, clean out. Okay, what goes in is not that important, but what comes out is important so what so what comes out you have to prepare what you go what is going inside because nothing comes out just without anything inside right unless something you feed what you feed to your eyes what do you feed to your mind what do you feed to your heart what do you feed that's what comes out and so the word of god says the preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord if the Lord is controlling your mind if the Lord is the one who controls your thoughts if the Lord is the one who is dwelling and possessing you and if you walk in the fear of God and in the love of God whatsoever that comes out from your mouth will be with godly fear and with godly love. Amen? Amen. And so, it's very important. You're, you know, when you read the book of Proverbs, it's all about your heart and mind. Because the mind is the battlefield. Mind, the heart is the battlefield. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 24 verse 23. <coughs> sorry. Keep thine heart with, with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. Amen. If your heart says, let me continue to watch it, you will watch. It's not the eye. It is the heart, the mind that is controlling everything. So if your heart says, no, I'm not interested in that, then your eyes will not look at it. But if your heart 
So he's, wow, that's good. Let's continue to do that. Let's continue to watch that. Let's continue to read. Then your eyes continues to watch it. Your eyes continues to read it. And then it's all about your heart. What is your heart? Keep thine heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. So if the Lord is the one who controls, what comes out from your mouth is from the Lord. Amen. Because the Lord is not going to make you to speak evil. The Lord is not going to make you to speak lies. The Lord is not going to make you to gossip around. The Lord is not going to make you to bad mouth about others. No, that's the evil spirit. That's the devil. The Lord, whatever comes out from the mouth, when the Lord is controlling it, what happened? It's godly. It is seasoned with salt. It is polite. It is right. It's biblical. If the Lord... Some, we have to check our faith. Who controls my thoughts? Who is controlling my words? Who is controlling my sight? If your sight is negative, if your thoughts are negative, if your words are negative, then there is spiritual problem, the battle that you are fighting. You are not fighting, you are given up in the hand of the devil. But if your thoughts, your desires, and your words, and your sight is seasoned with salt, and it's purified by the Spirit of God, then yes, the Holy Spirit is controlling your life. Amen? So it says the preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Okay, if you are controlled by the Lord, it is from the Lord. All the ways of man are clean in his own eyes. A man makes something wrong, you go and tell him immediately what happened, defend yourself. You know why? Because in the heart of a man, in the eyes of a man, he thinks whatever he says, or whatever he does, whatever he thinks is right. I know everything, you don't have to tell me. I know what I'm, where I'm going to, you don't have to tell me. I know what I'm saying, you don't have to tell me. I think I'm doing right. That's what man thinks. For a man, everything is right in his own eyes. But the end thereof is... And that of his, what? Susegat? The eyes of the man, all things are right. But the end that of his, death. Okay, all the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. But the Lord weighed the spirits. The Lord weighed the spirits. The Lord weighed the spirit like putting in a scale. Okay, you went to market and you see you buy something, you buy a kilo of rice or sugar or you buy something and the shopkeeper puts it in the scale, in the way. And so what happened? He, he measures it. And so what God does, He does the same thing with your words. And these are not jokes. These are serious matters. God puts it in a scale and He weights you. How much lie you speak. How many gossips you do, how bad mouth you do, all this thing, God is weighing you. It's on the scale. It's a serious matter. All the ways of man, all the, all the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. You see, if you are saved today, <coughs> you are not called to control your own life. You are called to submit your life to the Lord. So He can control your life. Amen? God wants to control. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. But the Lord waited the spirit. And remember, if the Lord waited this, he is going to do his properly. And he is a God of justice. He's not going to compromise. Amen? He's not going to compromise. He's not going to say, okay, let me wink at it. Let me tolerate it. No. He's a good judge. He's a righteous judge. So he will judge it honorably. He will judge it properly and if he ought to be and if that person ought to be punished he will get his punishment and if he ought to be chastised he will be chastised if he ought to be rewarded he will be rewarded because he is a god of justice amen so what do you do if you don't want to fall in a 
in a wrong, in a bad thing, if you don't want to fall in a troubled water, the good news this evening is, commit thy ways unto the Lord. Amen? Because in your eyes, you think you are too smart. In God's eyes, He thinks you are not too smart. And so in your eyes, the best thing is, you say, Lord, I am not too smart, so I submit myself to you, because I know you know everything. Amen? Amen. Lord, I am nothing. I am just nothing. All I want to do now is submit and commit my ways to Thee. I'm telling you, if this is what we are going to do, our lives will be much better than what we are. Amen? We will be away from much lots of trouble. Commit thy ways unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. What you must do? You have several desires. You have several thoughts in your mind. You know what you must do? Commit your ways. Commit your words. Commit your words. Commit your actions to the Lord. Commit it to the Lord. Many a times we don't want God to get involved in our works. We don't want God to get involved in our family. We don't want God to get involved in our business. We don't want God to... We want to do it because if God gets involved, He's going to tell us not to do that, not to do this, not to do this, not to do that. He's going to tell us, hey, give me time, give me this, give me that. We don't want that. We don't want to give to God what God wants from us. And so what happened? We try to keep God away from everything. That's what I'm talking about Christians, not unbelievers. And so if you want to get out from the troubled water, commit thy works unto the Lord. And thy thoughts shall be established. Amen. If your ways are in the hand of the Lord, your works and your thoughts will be established. Whatever you think, whatever you desire, whatever you delight in, if that is in God's will, according to God's will, He promises that He will establish, which means it will come to pass. He will bless you with all your thoughts. Amen? Amen. So never think that you are too smart. Don't ever think your ways is right. Check the scripture. What is God's ways? What is God's word? God is desire. What is God's commandment? And do according to it. So what is love? Love is to obey the commandment of the Lord. Amen? Amen? That is love. That is God's desire. That is God's ways. So commit thy ways unto the Lord, and He will establish, and thy thoughts shall be established. Amen? Amen? May the Lord add many more blessings into your life.